Guys, I have a confession to make. I've made two Karen Commanders in the past, and both of them have been extremely bad. I think it's time that I made one that was exceptionally bad because it's the boss Karen. She's not going to leave until she speaks to the manager, or at least somebody. Probably the CEO, actually. This is... I mean, things have gotten to a heightened state at this point. In order to bring my design to life, I've set myself a couple of parameters. Basically, it's got to be brand new, because uh, I don't think Karens get anything that isn't brand new. And then I've also got it set to SUV and utility vehicle, because we need something that is lengthy. The longer it is, the better. If I'm not mistaken, the original Karen Commander is this one right here, which is a pitiful 3.4 meters. That's just not enough. Uh, because there exists a 3.8 meter version, and when I saw this, I nearly had a heart attack. I think it's time that I made something even bigger. We're gonna go treated steel with a ladder chassis. I'm going corrosion resistant steel with a longitudinal engine, wishbone on the front, leaf springs in the back, and already we're off to a brilliant start here. Quality sliders, I think I'll just leave those for now. Obviously, I have to make a new engine, we'll come up with a name for it later, but I'm thinking that this is going to be all-wheel drive. 90 degree V8, of course, uh, cat aluminum block, why not? Push rods, I think it just has to be, and uh, aluminum heads as well. Mildly basing this off of the Corvette engines. For displacement, I was hoping that I would be able to get 8 liters, and I think that's not going to be an issue, because at this point... I mean, we could probably just max this out. Yeah, 10.8 liter V8. Goodness. For no particular reason, I'm going with an 8.2, and with high stroke, kind of medium bore, we'll see how that works. Hopefully we can make a decent amount of torque. That's really all I care about. I'm just going to keep it uh, probably heavy duty stuff to start with. Um, let's actually just go forged and then heavy duty cast, or maybe just regular forged. Have, we'll have to come back to that if the stresses are too much. I do want to make this semi-reliable, okay? I don't think the Karens will be putting up with anything less than perfect reliability. VVT, now we're not that fancy. Turbos, not that fancy. This is going to be naturally aspirated, but it is going to be, like, I don't know, direct injection. Performance intake, I was hoping to make, like... 600 horsepower. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be an issue. On premium fuel with a mm, tubular exhaust, it can't be too loud. Dual, and we'll put on some mufflers and stuff. I'm going three way. I'm going baffled and uh, baffled. That's going to be pretty quiet, actually. A 331 horsepower, not bad for a start. Not that any Karen would ever see this, but I'm going to uh, paint the engine. I mean, the mechanic would like it, <laughs> that's about it. Yeah, I'm just going all black, I don't know. You can't paint the aluminum blocks or aluminum heads in this game, so yeah, that's pretty much all we can do. Looks okay though, I think that'll be fine. Back over to the tuning, um, it's been a while since I played this game and it just crashed, oh geez. Yeah, thank goodness for automation autosaves because uh, otherwise I would have lost all that, all this beauty coming together. Definitely need to keep it uh, keep it going before before I lose my mind. Too many Karen builds do a number on your psyche, okay? Um, the next thing we gotta do, I think, is uh, increase the RPM limit to an extent, because apparently this is already complaining about the Conrads, goodness. 5800 RPM limit, that is simply not gonna do. Okay, so it turns out the exhaust was a bit restrictive and we're up to 417 horsepower, which is a lot. Um, and surprisingly good stuff here, like, this is shocking, I didn't think it would actually be decent. I've barely done anything. So we're only rocking 87 octane, which means we can either make it more efficient, or I can just crank up some of these sliders and try and make more power, which is more likely the thing that's gonna happen. <laughs> Who needs efficiency? An easy way to build power on a naturally aspirated engine, at least in this game, is to up the cam profile. Uh, but for the purposes of this build, and the fact that the RPM limit is so low, I'm going to try to avoid doing that. I mean, there's always the option of turbos, right? <laughs> if we really need to, we can twin turbo it pretty easily and make a lot more power. Now, I'm kind of known for being notoriously bad at tuning at this point. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with my channel, that just seems to be the way things are. But I gotta say, so far this engine is not too bad. Most of the time, things go off in the wrong direction and they continue on that way. But for the sake of thematics, I'm just going to keep it as is. This is a ridiculously high compression, 12.3 to 1, uh, with a pretty high cam profile, 
and then high stuff here as well. I'm using most of the octane, terrible fuel economy, that's kind of the point, uh, with really high timing and I was able to increase the RPM limit, but the only way I was able to do that was to up this quality slider to plus 10 so we could get a 6200 RPM limit out of it and that just makes it a little bit better in that way. Cost is not really a factor here, at least for the manufacturer. Cost for the buyer though, <laughs> they don't really care. <laughs> These things are $100,000 easily, at least in my world. So I just upped the quality slider on the exhaust and we're cruising at a cool 500 horsepower and I think I'm going to stick with that. 500 horses under the hood of this thing is definitely going to be enough to keep it moving so I'm fine with that. There we go, our brand new LS in heavy quotes going in. Now in terms of the body itself, this is where things get interesting, this is the important bit, the part that I've been liking the most recently in terms of these builds, uh, <laughs> trying to make some very creative things out of the car, including widening these fenders as much as I possibly can, and my hope here is to make this thing look absolutely ridiculous. I think that's going to be pretty easy. I'm going to make it just a little bit longer for the heck of it, and uh, yeah, she looking pretty good. Not talking about Karen, talking about the car, okay? The car. In terms of color, there's basically only one color we can go with, uh, and that is white. Uh, however, I have done a white one of these before, um, so I don't know. What about pink? <laughs> what about, like, pinkish white? Alright, so now that we have our extra nice colors going on, basically I've just made it chrome with white, nice and simple, it doesn't have to be fancy. Actually, it does have to be fancy, but not too fancy. I'm gonna skip the fixtures for now, because what I want to do is quickly set up the stance, and to do that, uh, I've got to put in a whole bunch of stuff. So, let's just quickly go through this. It's basically gonna be... I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, I'll have to come back through all this stuff later anyways, but the, the basic stuff is here. Um, All-wheel drive, auto, 9-speed, the comfort presets. But with this build, I want to go chunky off-road, and I'm thinking that we max out the width of the wheels as much as they can, because this is obviously Boss Karen, and then I'm going to increase this as much as it can go, uh, up to 950, biggest offset we can get, and largest rims we can get without having to shrink the tires, uh, as long as it's not going to burst them. Uh, and looks like that's going to be 31. So this thing has 31s now. Feast your eyes on that. Now if that doesn't say my husband owns an oil company, I don't know what does. Okay, so we got stance, but now, uh, well, we have the difficult job of designing the rest of the car. Um, <laughs> basically I'm very roughly basing this off of the Escalade, however it's from memory because I don't have any pictures of it on me. And also I'm going to try not to copy the other Karen Commander that I made. Um, but I'm also going to design this to the absolute excess. As an example, I was thinking about going with rims like these. Um, <laughs> yes, those are incredibly deep. Well, these are absolutely horrible, but I think they're uh, perfect for this. Horrible means perfect in this case, and uh, <laughs> low profile is unfortunately an issue. Don't worry about it, game, it's fine. In fact, it's all part of my secret master plan to uh, hopefully make this thing excellent. <laughs> it's gonna be terrible off road, though. That's, I mean, does that even matter? Probably not. Something that is of the utmost importance is that we have tow mirrors, uh, so I'm gonna. Whoa. I was gonna put some of those on, come back here. Like, this thing is basically an Escalade, but kind of more the old style where it's a full-on truck frame except with uh, <laughs> a different body on top. It makes sense that it has truck mirrors, it doesn't have to make total sense though, I don't need to justify all of these choices. However, I will definitely justify my exhaust choice here. <laughs> it's gotta be dual, and it's gotta be out the back somewhere, this stuff needs to show. That's just kind of the Bonner Day aesthetic anyways. Okay, it's my time to shine, including adding headlights to the front end. Last time I did this in the greatest of excesses, and this time is going to be no different, uh, because I figure, uh, well, it needs to be luxury, luxury in quotes. <laughs> Get ready. Wow, that is excessive. <laughs> it's almost too much. I, I can almost not take it. Let me just make it worse. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Oh no, <laughs> it's, oh, 
It's beautiful. Oh, it's so good. How, how am I even going to top this? What on this earth? That is a barrage of chrome that I don't think you were expecting. Trust me, I was not expecting that either. Uh, it looks like it has lips. <laughs> it's mildly scary, but uh, don't worry, we're not done yet. It needs lights and it needs a lot of them, okay? This Karen needs to see. You better be believing that she be seeing, because uh, I don't know if I'd trust her on the roads even with this many lights. Goodness, I still need to turn everything chrome. I totally forgot about that. Wow, that is excessive and also amazing. I am <laughs> I'm very happy with that. Um, I need something under here though. It's got to have some kind of lip. So I put down a spoiler as a lip because uh, they actually work surprisingly well as lips. Um, <laughs> this is all for aesthetic purposes, but hey, that looks pretty good. <laughs> I'm fairly happy with that. I think it's missing a couple of things though, a couple of very important details. Let me see if I can find them. Oh yeah, I am in the open beta version, which is why I don't have a lot of the mods I'd usually have. A lot of stuff here is just not working, so I'm going to have to use some new stuff, <laughs> including, well, just base model fixtures, I guess. I don't know. Maybe this? Uh, that doesn't exactly speak commander, does it? Okay, I was thinking about writing boss babe in the center of the grill, but I have been thwarted by... The game itself, it has decided that that is not something it wants me to do. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. You know, sometimes I wonder why I never went into automotive design, um, and then I create stuff like this, and I realize I have terrible taste. Okay, on to the rest of the vehicle. So we can write Boss Babe in other places. I'm thinking of writing Commander on the back of this thing. Uh, but I'm missing some key features, and I should probably get those down before I forget them, because inevitably, I will forget. But door handles, that's kind of important. I'm just now realizing that these rear doors are gigantic. Uh, are they supposed to be sliding doors? <laughs> They're just absolutely massive. Um, just don't think about that proportion too much. Apparently this is a limo. Oh, one thing that's so important that I don't think I got last time, or at least I think I messed it up last time, is these uh, running boards. I'm gonna make sure to duplicate them because I know I've made that mistake before, but we just have to have something like this. It's just not possible to get into an SUV this big without them. All right, I'm thinking we need some side trim. There's some that's kind of built into this, but uh, yeah, I can do better. I can do a lot better. Oh yeah, she ballin' now. That is some fancy, fancy trim. I was thinking of potentially making this entirely out of gold, but uh, maybe, maybe that's just a little bit too much. Okay, we need one of these shark fins on the top. It's just got to have it. And I think it's going to end up being huge too, just because, yeah, that's fine. You know, something that I completely forgot about that I am thinking about doing <laughs> is adding an interior. However, I am missing most of my interior bits, uh, which is truly unfortunate because otherwise we could do a lot more. However, uh, there are... Uh, I guess a few things in here, a couple of misc pieces. <laughs> All I've got is 80s stuff. I mean, while I'm here, while I'm putting in the effort, I may as well go ahead and add an interior as well, so I'll leave that just as is so I'm reminded. Also, this is interesting. <laughs> this is the full-on side of a car here. Not sure what you'd use this for, but it's cool that it's in the game. Time for some rear lights. Um, these things are inevitable. Uh, it's obvious that I need to have something, but I always struggle making rear lights for trucks or just vehicles like this. It's just weirdly difficult, so... Uh, yeah, I'll try my best to ape this. <laughs> only here and worse. So I'm going to do what's called in the industry, uh, only professional terminology, of course. Um, this is what you would call a pro gamer move. Basically, I'm using headlights on the back uh, because, well, they work, so uh, why not just recolor them? <laughs> it's going to take some time, but I should be able to make something interesting out of this. Oh yeah, that's brilliant. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm definitely down with that. I'm, I'm very, very fine with that on the back. Um, but there is a spoiler up here, and I think I need to cut into it just a little bit, so I'm going to do just that with uh, some more fixture stuff. That is perfect. <laughs> the back end is not complete, but it is definitely more complete than it was, and I kind of realized that I forgot to do wipers, so I'm going to do that real quick. All right, so interior stuff. I think I'm going to use... Uh... Man, we don't really have much, do we? We've got cluster. This is like pedals and stuff. 
and then we have no seats or anything like that except for the stuff that's in this pack which is all very very old school uh, so I'm gonna use it anyway we're gonna go double bench seats bench seat here bench seat here front seats with this and then all the new stuff as well which is unfortunately only colorable by one uh, color Okay, so first thing to go in, and by the way, this is the same stuff I used in my magnum opus, <laughs> so it's got some uh, heritage, I guess, pedigree, racing pedigree that I didn't intend for. Oh well, it, it's going in anyway, that's, uh, that's exactly what we're going to be using. Okay, this is turning out a lot harder than I thought without mods, because the entire center console is missing, <laughs> so... I really shouldn't have done this in open beta, that was a terrible mistake. Either way, uh, I'm gonna work with what I got to try and fill it in, and that means we're using old stuff. Okay, dashboard is in, uh, except for the center. We now have a wheel, steering column, and it's time to put in all the ancient stuff. Starting off with the seats, yes this is what it's like to be in the lap of luxury. Uh, no, you should not question it. Gigantic captain's chairs, stuff that you only get with the good old Karen Commander. Uh, <laughs> it's got to sit up high too, even if it's floating a little bit, we got to get up there. Just pretend that those switches on the side, they're, they're for retro flair, okay? They're, they're not actually manual seats. That would be an incredible crime in a vehicle like this. Manual seats are illegal. And ringing in the back, we got a bench seat that is absolutely floating, don't question it. And another one behind it that will absolutely not be floating. Okay, never mind. It is floating and is glitching the ground. That's fine too. That's within factory tolerances, no doubt about that. But even after all these seats, you still get one heck of a trunk in this thing. <laughs> 3.8 meters or whatever it was, it's working out nice. And I think I've come up with a, with a solution to our dashboard issue, if I could get through. <laughs> I'm basically, oh no. Oh no, I'm gonna have to do some camera work here. My plan is to uh, duplicate this and then just kind of bring it into the middle. Hey, look at that. It's a double airbag front. <laughs> Don't look too closely. <laughs> yeah, this is this is what you get without mods. Um, mods make this game a lot more interesting, so. Yeah, thank you to the modders that make this stuff. Yeah, this is all I can do without them. Uh, although, admittedly, this stuff is probably from a mod. I, I don't actually know. Alright, in terms of the exterior, the basic stuff is done. Um, I do still want to write some stuff on the back. And uh, other than that, though... Oh, man, I don't have the little stick figure things. I was going to make a stick figure family. No. <laughs> Oh well, okay. Command is here. Boss Karen. I'm calling it the Retread, but I'm gonna call it the Retread Command. Yes, I know the Command is spelt with two M's, but this is a brand name, so it's spelt with one. It just, just track with it, okay? Don't worry. <laughs> it just makes it easier to fit that on there with one, so I figured, you know what? Let's go with that. And with that, I think the new Karen Commander, in fact the Karen Commander 2.0, if you want to call it that, um, is finished. The uh, the extended version, Karen Commander EXT. <laughs> Where did I get that from? I'm still really a big fan of the front. I, I really like these like dumb front ends that I make for trucks. I don't know why, they're just cool. The rest of it though, not bad. Not bad at all. Let's move on to the next bit. Uh, the drivetrain, where Karen is probably not gonna care. Just kind of part of her deal. So we have no graphs yet, because I haven't finished picking up this stuff yet. Uh, but I'm just going to go with all vented discs and things like that. Off-road skid tray, no active wing, uh, brake air flow up just a little bit. It's supposed to be high quality stuff. And then obviously we need a full rear bench, a luxury interior, luxury stuff. Interior stuff has got to be good. Uh, obviously everything here, basically everything. I'm going to go for an advanced comfort with semi-active. And, oh, okay, so a sport preset kind of ruins it a little bit, but that's not too bad. It's a little bit into oversteer territory, which is weird because it's all-wheel drive. Um, I guess the weight of it is probably incredible. Yeah, it's 3,600 kilos. And just for a quick test, it's $96,000 at the moment, which is about what you would anticipate. And, and the fuel economy is an astounding 
52.5 liters per 100 kilometers. That is beautiful. We're keeping the Karen spirit alive. Now let me go back and tune it to make it worse. Okay, on the drivetrain, uh, our off-road capability and utility and stuff are pretty low. Prestige is pretty high. Comfort, <laughs> we're getting there. Apparently the seat count penalty is ruining it for a utility sport. How is that even possible? Wheel spin is apparently a non-issue for this, so I'm going to crank this up quite a bit higher. I just want to make it drive ever so slightly better. And it is a 50-50 bias, as weird as that seems. Okay, I think I realized why wheel spin is not an issue. It's because the wheels are massive, and I totally forgot that I made them just huge. Not only in uh, diameter, but also in width. <laughs> just huge, huge wheels. 395s. You do not see that anywhere. Brakes are not even close to strong enough. I'm just going to make them as big as they can be. Uh, for the most part, oh wow, they actually might need to be even bigger than this. I'm just going to go for a little bit of that good old quality spam up to plus 15 on the brakes, mostly because I want it to be able to stop. And obviously it's incredibly expensive, so none of this stuff is working anymore. Aerodynamics, we make a decent amount of uplift on both the front and the back, but that doesn't really matter. Okay, suspension. Normally I tune for sportiness. This time I'm going to tune for drivability and hope for the best. Or worst, it doesn't really matter, does it? Now the great debate in my mind is to go full height or just kind of, I mean full low looks pretty decent or just kind of somewhere in between. I mean this is probably the like mildly realistic version, but I feel like full height is just too good to pass up. This thing is a monster. Let's embrace it. And obviously that throws off the graphs even more, so I don't think there's any point. Uh, I ended up changing it to a much closer to a normal preset, uh, so it's a lot softer, which makes sense. Um, and we're gonna go for that max ride height, so <laughs> yeah, get ready. Um, fuel economy, still bad. Cost, way, way up. <laughs> that's what I like to see. 183,000 bucks for this lad, and that's just to make it. Sorry, it's $89,000 to make it, $183,000 approximate cost. Uh, I have not played the campaign yet, so I don't fully understand that stuff, but I think we're good to go. <laughs> Let me export this lad, and then we'll try it out in BeamNG Drive. Stick around. So here is the original Karen Commander with its full toothy grin. Uh, very, very nice. Um, <laughs> Nice is definitely not the right word for it, but yeah, this is the original version. Uh, I would say the back end on it is severely lacking, but the rest of it's not too bad. I, I definitely am okay with this design, and you can see some elements of it have carried over into the new version, which is not this, but it instead is this. One thing I was unsure about uh, was the length of things. But it does seem like the new Karen Commander is ever so slightly longer than the old one, uh, which is very much up to <laughs> the standards that I was looking for. The rims are way bigger, it's taller, it's uh, less powerful? I actually forgot how powerful that other car is. And arguably it's way, way uglier, which probably fits the theme a little bit better. This is from a different time period in automation, um, and you can definitely tell the chrome is a lot different, and the way that the thing has rendered in BeamNG is also a lot different. The interior turned out to be entirely white, which is actually kind of funny, because it probably would be white in the, re in the real world anyways, and I don't know. Uh, I like the back end better. That's all I gotta say about that. Uh, we are here in Italy <laughs> for the explicit purpose of driving these massive beasts around here, and I wanted to compare it to the car I made in the last BeamNG video, my daily of sorts, uh, just so you can see the sheer size of this lad. Just think about this for a minute, okay? This car here is not small. This thing is just huge. <laughs> it is like twice the height and way longer. It's a car and a half, or maybe a car and a quarter, um, but it's just massive. Let's take it around Italy just for fun, and then we'll race against the other Karen Commander on the drag strip. I think that's a pretty fitting way to go here. Alright, you might be wondering, how does something this big drive? And uh, I haven't actually tried it yet, but being all-wheel drive, it shouldn't be too bad. Oh wow, this steering is really, really interesting. Um, it's hesitating a lot, which I didn't expect. That might be the ESC trying to keep some of the power away. 
And what's really interesting about this so far is that I don't fit into an Italian lane very well. Uh, it is literally on the borders and the mirrors are sticking out the sides of it. <laughs> oh, it's just dangerous. I mean, there's a reason that they don't make massive trucks like this in European countries. One of them is older style infrastructure and also they just don't have the same kind of room that uh, North America does. However, <laughs> the sights are very, very lovely. You just kind of have to look past what's on the bottom here. Okay, there's a garage space. Let me see if I can't just try and get into that. Um, <laughs> okay, I almost drove over the wall. That was not quite what I was intending. Uh, but it seems like this thing is larger than the average garage. Uh, yeah, it probably wouldn't fit. We aren't actually going to be able to get up to much speed with this, uh, at least in these sections. We might be able to do a bit more on the, the roadways uh, out there, or down there possibly by the... Uh, airstrip or maybe down by the beach on the highway one of the other locations definitely suits this thing better but I just thought it would be funny to try and take it around some of these spots and then maybe attempt to park it as well <laughs> yeah I think you're gonna end up running over most curves with this because otherwise you stick way way out of that spot thankfully not into oncoming traffic though so I've been doing all of this in comfort mode I'm gonna change it over to sport mode because uh, yeah, these transmissions actually have sport mode now, which is really cool. And let's take it down some winding mountain roads. Keep in mind this is a relatively soft suspension preset that I've created. And uh, yeah, it's not going to be an action. <laughs> it's not going to be a canyon carver. Oh, it's not going to turn at all, actually. Wow. Um, we're going to have to stop very, very quickly for a lot of this. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad. It seems like I made a mistake in the rear lights because the uh, casings themselves are lighting up. I really should have turned that off. That's a pretty simple fix though. You know what? I am very down with the way that this looks on the back. Uh, the command logo, kind of nice. I wish it was custom lettering, but again, no mods because open beta. Um, <laughs> that being said, uh, the front end, <laughs> it needs a little bit of love. It's better than the previous Karen Commander by a touch. But my goodness, it needs some help. As with a lot of things. Ooh, that was an interesting drift as well. I wasn't anticipating that. But as we carve our way down the mountain, I want to reiterate something here. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not just doing this again for the sake of doing it again. I honestly thought I could make it ever so slightly better. And I, I would say that it is, but it's like... It's not really a 2.0 step up. This is a... This is a refresh. This is a mid-model refresh right here. This is not a brand new model by any means. If you're interested in more of this kind of stereotype stuff that I was doing uh, last year, I guess earlier in the year, then please let me know. I'm having fun with it still. Uh, it kind of wore on me a bit back when I was doing it, uh, once I made a couple videos following different stereotypes, but now, you know what, I think I'm good to go back and definitely run into some rocks. I'm gonna go up into sport mode, which may even, or I guess the sport preset on the transmission, but that might even make us ever so slightly faster down here. I, I mean, this thing is not exactly slow. It is uh, very, very heavy, but it's relatively quick. Like, it's not actually that bad. I'm really looking forward to racing the other commander because I'm hopeful that this one is uh, ever so slightly faster. Not that that makes a difference in any Karen's life, but, uh, yeah, it should be more interesting. The absolutely massive wheels, despite being off-road, might actually help this on the drag strip. They might make it so that it can edge out the competition just a little bit in terms of grip, which I'm excited about. Uh, ooh, that's a tight one. <laughs> Yikes, okay. <laughs> A little bit too much width there. Oh yeah, something quick I just wanted to say. If, you, if you're watching this and you like my stuff, make sure to check out the IRL series I've been working on, uh, where I've been kind of building my own project car. It's an Infiniti G35. Ooh, trust me, it goes better than this at least so far, um, but I've got some big stuff coming up for it, including uh, next week I'm gonna try and get a safety test done, and I'm hopeful that it'll actually work out. <laughs> and then once it's safetyed, once it gets on the road, then we start pulling the interior, and that's where things get fun. So there is a small oceanside villa going on down here, some kind of a little town. I have not explored the Italy map in quite a while. I know I missed an update on it previously, so I'm just gonna jump down in here 
Um, I remember the last time I was on this map, the performance was still not ideal, um, but this time, I mean, it seems to be running pretty smooth. Goodness, the uh, engine definitely hesitates. Uh, <laughs> it's not exactly fast in a straight line, uh, and it's not fast around the corners either, which for 500 horsepower you would kind of hope it's one of those two. Right, let's go down to the beach, and we'll take on some water, and then we'll go ahead and take on the drag strip as well. Oh, this is a beautiful drive though, my goodness. Ooh, hard on the brakes, hard on the brakes, and down into the beach we go. Uh, I don't think any Karen would let their kid go to the beach because they might get seaweed on them or something, I don't know. However, uh, I have seen videos of people getting their SUVs stuck in the sand or stuck in the tides, and <laughs> this just makes me think about that. No particular reason. I'm going to try this thing completely uncorked by the ESC. All that stuff is off, no traction control. It's just going to let the wheels spin as I dive down deep here in the water. And... I mean, 60 kilometers an hour, I guess it does have huge wheels which are not making it easy to drive in the sand. Or, I mean, the deeper water, but... <laughs> it looks fast, but it's not really going that fast. Yeah, we fly through the gears in this thing. I mean, it has nine speeds, so... That does make sense, but my goodness, that's uh, <laughs> that's a lot of gear shifting that I don't want to do. Glad I made it an auto. Alright, it's time. Let's take this thing to the drag strip, fight against the other commander, and see how we do. I'm thinking it's going to be worse. Alright, so we have ourselves a duel. That's the old Karen commander right there. This is obviously the new one. I'm going to go into... Uh, we're gonna go traction control off, and I'm gonna try and stick it into sport mode when I get up there. Um, that's not gonna be easy, because I have to press the <laughs> key twice to get through. Um, but I'm gonna stage myself. And they are not staging. That is not ideal. Hold on a minute. Yeah, sometimes automation cars don't stage properly. Let me see, though, if it gets it this time. Oh, it's not getting it. I might not be able to race this because the AI can't drive it. Ah, oh, man. I was hoping for a direct one-on-one -on -one here. That's unfortunate. Okay, I've switched things up. I'm going to be driving the old one, and I'm, I'm going to do the same thing where ESC is off. And that car's mirror is wiggling like mad. <laughs> I didn't anticipate that happening, but um, we roll up to the line. Stage. And... Game... Okay, apparently it doesn't want to drive either of these cars. That is really not ideal. Okay, so I spawned a an actual Beam NG car just to see if things are working. And, uh... Yeah, they are apparently working. I'm going to try my best. <laughs> okay, so this is, Karen Commander is the original one. That is a very loud and also fast car. I'm going to start off by going in drive to see what kind of time we can get. That was a pretty solid start on my end. I don't think that was too, too bad. 146 kilometers an hour there, and uh, we happen to get a 15.4 with that car. Not great, but also not that bad. I mean, it could be worse. It has been worse. This time, however, I'm going to switch to the uh, new Karen Commander. We'll stage this lad up. Oh, it's still in comfort. Oh, that's not ideal. Oh, it is fast, though. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay, so if we're in sport mode and we have our uh, EFC or our, our gearbox set to sport mode as well. Wow, that is clearly faster. Goodness. Okay, let's put it under ideal circumstances and see what happens. Ideal circumstances in this case is no ESC and uh, I have to... I've already popped a tire, how did that even happen? But no ESC and I'm going to try to um, jump it up into S1 as I get up to the line here. There we go, S1. A little bit of a slower start because I had to shift twice and I don't think it's going to be faster just because that car is suddenly winning, uh, which I beat it the first time. I don't know if it just had a bad run or something, but 14.7, hmm, close. Let me try one more time. Okay, this time, I'm just gonna stay in drive. Oh yeah, no, that is way faster. The delay to switch into sport is not worth it from what I'm seeing. Uh, it just seems to be better overall to go into drive. Maybe the difference is negligible in such a short like time, but 
14 3. <laughs> okay, the new Karen Commander is significantly faster. That is a big bonus. Let me try a, um, a random opponent of similar performance. Apparently, that's not going to want to work. Oh well, let's try again. One more time. One more time. Bye bye, Maramar. Apparently, you're not faster than Karen and her kids. This is the full soccer family right here. 14 4. Just a little bit slower than last time. Goodness. Yeah, we're definitely back where we should be with this thing, back in the USA. And we appear to have been dominant at the uh, drag race, which is pretty nice. Uh, honestly, a little bit unexpected, but at the same time, pretty darn decent. <laughs> I guess the combo of all-wheel drive, big old 500 horsepower engine, and just monster wheels pulled us through. The other Karen Commander is incredibly unstable on the drag strip uh, material. And this one is still... I mean, it's not too, too bad. The other one just kind of... Oh yeah, no, never mind. <laughs> they both kind of roll over, and that's probably just due to height uh, and other factors. <laughs> Leaf springs are not exactly helping in the rollover issues, but anyway. That's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think of this new Karen Commander, or Command Boss Karen. Karen... not Karen any longer? I'm running out of these things, okay? I'm, I'm running out. That's okay though, because if you wanted to speak to my manager, that's alright. Uh, I am the manager. <laughs> I'll see you guys again next time. Don't forget to check out the supporters on your way past though. And uh, yeah, goodness. More stuff coming up, more videos to come. And I'll um, hopefully see you here. Boom! This thing is actually surprisingly durable. <laughs> No issues at all after crashing into a fence. It's going to need a lot more durability than that, though. My goodness. I've got some stuff planned. I'd like to thank those who have chosen to support this channel, specifically through the join button. These are the uh, our channel members, the advanced supporters and supporters, as I've called them. Um, but we have Overlord, QT Bear, Terry Williams, the most random person, Jean Van Palms, G.A. Pope, Davis, the German Dude, and Jug. Thank you guys for your support, and all of you supporters as well. I really appreciate it, especially you guys who are jumping in uh, during the streams. Thank you guys for your, for your support on those. I'm really trying to make some good content, <laughs> and uh, man, sometimes it just doesn't happen. Sometimes it just doesn't kick off, but you guys keep things a at least a little bit consistent, and I appreciate that. Anyway, see you guys again next time.